This is the Force Tube VR Gunstock VR Rifle. It is made for VR first person shooters. And the special thing is it will make you feel recoil in VR. All the details coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. If this is your first time here, if you're just as excited about VR and air as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. As you know, I'm a very big fan of immersion and of those accessories that make VR games even more immersive than they already are. Now, this here is the Force Tube VR, a VR gunstock rifle that sets out to make first person shooter games much better than they are now and it sets out to give us PC VR players something that can compare with the PSVR aim controller from the PSVR. So this here is made by the same company ProTube that also makes these ProTube gunstock rifles. So, but the big difference is now instead of just having this here which does not in any way move, we now have the force tube, this module here. And this module will not only rumble in the game, it will give you a feeling of recoil. And how does it do so? With this here, this thing shoots out whenever you shoot in game and gives you this feeling of recoil. Let me simulate this here with the Android app simulator. So, Let me do that now. So it comes out. And well, you will you will feel it here. And it's not only for rapid fire, just like you see now, only also for sniping. You will it will come out one time and you will feel it here in your shoulder. Now, how does it work? Well, it's very simple. You have this on and off button. Let me put it off now here, zero and one. That's really the only thing that you have on this dev kit version. And I'm going to talk a bit more about the different versions a bit later. You only turn it on. Then on your Windows machine, you will see it as a Bluetooth device. You connect to it and that's it. Then you start your game, like for example, War Dust or any of the, the games that are already compatible with the game and you simply play and whenever you shoot, you will feel the recoil here. It is really so easy. Now, for those games that are not yet supported, that have not yet put in the SDK of the Force Tube, you simply would start an app, a backwards compa compati compatibility app. And um, yeah, then the Force Tube will simply get the rumble information from the game and also give you the feeling of recoil. And you know what? I simply checked it out for you for a couple of different games and let's have a look at them together now. And I started with War Dust and my first victim, this dead cow. And it felt very, very good to feel the recoil shooting this dead cow. But also in the normal gameplay, it does feel great. And yeah, I was pretty much impressed. Even when you are in the helicopter and shooting your machine gun, you will also feel the recoil and that makes it just more immersive. Next, I tried Onward, and here I simply wanted to show you how it looks like. So I show this into the camera. So have a look at the device and see how the force applicator, this is how I call it now, comes out. And here another weapon. And here I'm using the weapon and uh, well, I'm showing off the device directly at my shoulder. So please do have a look at the right bottom corner to see how the applicator actually applies the force to my shoulder. Now, if you want to play a game that's not supported, you would simply use this software. You will just check this one field and then all the other first person shooters will work because this software reads the rumble information from the controllers and it translates them into recoil. And yeah, here I'm trying out Pavlov and it works great. Also, sniping feels so much more satisfying than it would be politically correct to say here. It feels great. And yeah, let me show you some other weapons that I tried here in Pavlov. Yeah, simply works great, is lots of fun and feels more immersive. 
So, for all of you who know the gun stocks, you know exactly how it works, but for all of you who don't know how it works, well, if you would like to do something like reloading, you would simply take the controller out of the gun stock, or if you have a mag tube like I have, you would simply detach it from the mag tube. And of course, you can also use one-handed weapons, just like that. In these situations, the force tube will simply hang around your shoulder thanks to the strap. As you could tell, all the games that I tried out worked perfectly with the force tube. Of course, the ones that already are supported, like War Dust and Onwards, but also those games that are not supported yet, like Pavlov and Stand Out, worked perfectly using the backwards compatibility tool. And, well, the, the makers of the force tube tell me that all these big games will be supported directly from the game itself very, very soon, but if you find a game that is not supported, you can simply use the backwards compatibility tool, which is pretty cool. Now, for the, for the experience itself, it is truly much more immersive than, first of all, of course, just using the controllers. That is no question. It just feels great to, yeah, to have something in your hand that feels like a real rifle. But it's also better than simply having that normal Pro tube rifle since yeah well you can feel the the recall that is just such a cool sensation if you fire on something and you can really tell that you're firing by feeling that recoil now how strong is that recoil well it is not really super strong so it will not like uh, pull your aim away or so so i've read sometimes that people think like hey probably you won't be able to aim anymore that is not the case so it's not too strong in order to so that it would like kind of mess up your aim but it's also not too weak so you won't feel anything it's it's a good um, middle way middle ground i would say so it will definitely increase your immersion and well that's what it set out to do so in my opinion this is an amazing accessory that will simply make your games feel more immersive so the big question now of course how much does it cost and when is it going to be available? Now, good news for those of you who really want to have this, you can have this quite soon. ProTube VR has just started a Kickstarter campaign that you can back and the link to that Kickstarter campaign is in the description of this video. So this module alone, this module here, is going to set you back 199 euro in the early bird. So of course, this is not cheap, but in my opinion, this is also not like crazily expensive for those people who love first person shooters, for those who already love their gun stocks and for those who simply want a more immersive experience. So $199 for the early bird for this module only. So you already need to have the gun stock. So probably you already have the pro tube or the Mac tube at home. Then you can simply go for this module only and this part simply yeah simply replaces this part here from your pro tube and then you're good to go for the force tube now on the kickstarter something is not really very easy to understand in my opinion so what they do they sell a dev kit this here is the dev kit and they're selling the final version of the pro tube uh, of the force tube so what is the difference between the dev kit and the final version well the dev kit, you will be able to get it directly after the Kickstarter ends. This should be delivered to you in May, which is not so long away. And if you go for the final version though, then you'll have to wait until at, le until at least December 2019 and probably even a bit longer, right? We know these Kickstarters, they can, yeah, it can take some time until they really send out the stuff. So the difference is the dev kit doesn't have any ports. So, so in order to, uh, yeah, to recharge it, what you have to do, you have to slide this away here. There's some, you can slide this open. And then you have to get those batteries out. These are some standard batteries. I'm going to write the, the battery type into the description below. And you have to put them into the charging device that will come with the package. So I received the package and there was a charger and those batteries and I had to charge them first. 
and yeah, then you're good to go. So there is no kind of USB-C port or something and you won't be able to recharge them by simply putting, putting a, a plug into it. No, you have to open it, slide it open, get the batteries out and charge them. And then the batteries are supposed to be good for quite a long time, more than eight hours on one charge, con constantly playing and that should be enough. And then you slide this back once you've charged and put them back in and then you're good to go. So for me, I think the dev kit is really no problem. It's totally fine for me. For the final version, well, you're gonna have this port and you can, you can charge them. And yeah, that is probably a bit more convenient, but well, for me, the dev kit version is completely fine. So should you back the Force Tube VR? Well, it depends on you. Are you already a big fan of first person VR shooters? And do you already own one of the ProTube VR gun stocks and love it? Well, then I believe yes, the Force Tube VR is for you because well, it will make your game so much more immersive. It feels great to feel the recoil. It feels great to feel the rumble when things are going on around you and yes, this will make your game better and those 199 euros are a great investment simply to make your game feel much, much more immersive. Now, if you have never used one of those gun stocks, then I'm not exactly sure because honestly speaking, there is quite some learning cur curve involved when using those gun stocks. So probably you should first Get one of those gun stocks, you can get them for 59 euros and you can see if you actually like it to use it. If yes, then yeah, then of course you can you can back the, the force tube Kickstarter. You still have like, like 40 days, so there's still enough time. If you are just a casual gamer that is looking for some more immersive gameplay, then probably paying like a 300 euro for the full package is going to be too much of an investment of an investment for you especially because you can't be sure if you really want to yeah want to go through this learning curve learning how to use the force tube so it really depends on what kind of player you are for me i'm really happy about it well i'm i'm a immersive i'm a fan of all the immersive accessories and that definitely is great and uh, finally PC VR gamers also have something comparable to the PSVR aim controller, but PSVR, uh, PC VR players can even use that on any game, on any first person shooter, and that is pretty, pretty amazing. And that's it for this video. If you have any more questions about the Force Tube or about the Force Tube Kickstarter, please do leave them in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to answer them. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you've not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next video.